Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to see how to calculate the number pi using the power series. And that shows you the power of the power series. Now, starting with the function that we've seen before, f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared, we can then write it as follows. And then using the geometric series, which is a subset of the power series, we can write it out as an infinite sum of these terms right here. And then we're going to use the integration technique that we showed you in the previous video. We're going to integrate this function. Now, how do you integrate 1 over 1 plus x squared dx? Well, we can use a substitution. We can let x equal the tangent of theta, which is a sine divided by the cosine. And then if we take the derivative of x with respect to theta, that means the derivative of the tangent of theta with respect to theta, we can use the quotient rule, and we end up with the secant squared of theta. Now when we plug that into our, our integral, we can then write 1 over 1 plus the tangent square of theta dx, and dx can then be written as the secant square of theta times d theta. So we then replace dx by the secant square of theta d theta, and 1 plus the tangent square of theta can be written as the secant square of theta. We then cancel out the secant squares, we end up with the integral of d theta, and notice it turns out this is one of the easiest integrals you can imagine, starting with something that looked pretty difficult. The integral of that, of course, is theta plus a constant, and we're simply going to let the constant equal zero, so we end up with theta as being the integral of this function right here. But then, of course, we have to substitute back. We know that x equals the tangent of theta, therefore theta equals the arctangent of x which means the integral of this function can then be written as the inverse tangent of x or the arctangent of x. Now, we know that this function here, dx, can then be written as the integral of the series. Remember that we had the series written out for the function 1 over 1 plus x squared equal to that. So then if we take the integral of that, it's the same as taking the integral of the series, which then looks as follows. Now we're going to set the tangent or inverse tangent of x, which is the integral of this function, equal to the integral of the series. And then, of course, when we let x go to 1, the arctangent, or the inverse tangent, I should say, or arctangent of 1, means it's 45 degrees or pi over 4, which means that pi over 4 is equal to this series, letting x equal 1 in every one of these terms. So then we multiply both sides by 4, and we know now that pi is equal to 4 times the series representing the integral of this function with every x equal to 1. And all you have to do now is get a calculator or maybe a small computer program and just start adding these terms up. And eventually you will see that if you go enough terms, you get the value for pi. Well, at least to a certain number of decimal places. So you can see the power of mathematics and the power of using the power series. We can actually find things such as the number pi in a very eloquent way. And that's how it's done.